mercy on my soul. Have mercy on my spirit. Have mercy on me. Kinky matches his Stanley cup that's Arctic brand. But nevertheless, it's still a cup that keeps your beverage cool. Even if it's left in the sun for a prolonged period of time. When in doubt, pinkies out. Dude, what is going on, y'all? I hope everyone is doing well today. We have a brand new trip to the thrift, and it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu. And you already know, it's going down. Paul, you got mail. I, 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 I got, I got, I got the like internet that. going nuts. Now, before we get into today's thrifting, sifting, and digging, I just want to first and foremost thank everyone who has tuned in to the Whatnot Lives I have been running. I legit have three racks full of clothes that are ready and stuffed for future lives I have planned. And today's video sponsor is actually Whatnot. So if you guys haven't checked out that app, Basically, it's a free to download application where you can buy and sell pretty much anything and everything your heart and mind can imagine. So sneakers, collectibles, all types of vintage clothes, obviously, jewelry, handbags, man, there's a whole gamut trading cards of different items you guys can find on the app. And I do live stream once to twice a week at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time every single Tuesday, and then sometimes I do bonus lives. So today, after this video drops, I will be live at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So tune in for some extra content and to buy some clothes. I have curated a crazy selection of gear that I am going to be slinging today and of course if you guys don't have an account I say it every time tap that link in the video description it will get you $15 off your first purchase so that is just an infinite money cheat code to life that you guys can utilize so definitely be sure to do that and as always we ship very quickly and uh, I hope you guys enjoy all the items because I do go above and beyond to find the best of the best in regards to vintage so speaking of which we're gonna go hit up some thrifts today I'm gonna start at the bins probably for a short period of time just because I've had some bad experiences as of late up in there and then I'm just gonna traverse the city and see what gear I can find for myself obviously to flip to you guys and everywhere in between and of course smash a like button it is a free way to help me out and i really do appreciate all the comments and support in general but without further ado let's hop in the whip and get to the thrift so at opening man i can't believe all these fine young gentlemen would pass on the suck em up hat they acting like that's what they don't do what? Hey man, I gotta grab this though. That is hilarious. I'm gonna do a degenerate live as well, and this uh, suck 'em up will be on there. Maybe get it for your lady as a little bit of wishful thinking, okay? Get back to the mental lab, because that's where the knowledge came from. So we are out of the bins. Two decent ish finds, I guess. Not really, whatever. The last thing I found was this blazed frog plush from 1979. But now we're at the family thrift center. I'm just gonna go in and see what's popping. All I can do is see what the stores have to provide. But as I feel in Houston, spring and summer are the worst times to thrift just because the shorts are in abundance and the long sleeves, the sweaters, the jackets are all done with. Because in Houston, we only have two seasons. 10 months of summer, two months of winter. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get in. So we're in the blue suede shoe section and check this out, man. They rolled out some new racks, all of which are behind me, but in front of me. Check it out. FC Byron Munich, the T-Mobile sponsored soccer jersey. I am going to do a huge soccer drop on the website. That is thrifttypeadvantage.com very soon. Big Damn seven. It. Hey, man, I got to take that. You already know what it is. And then also they got the Dare to Resist Drugs. Nice honey mustard color scheme. That actually is more like a deep queso. And for 13 though, my lord, thick on This is about to get me demonetized. The full service, Jesus Christmas. I wanna get this, but 13 just seems a little bit high. But I mean, that piece of ace, like, look at that. I don't know where the leg ends and the ass begins, but hey, I'm interested. Yo, this is pretty sweet too. Big $7. Look at this button up. You might just think it's dad swag, but it's my closet's nothing but Harley. Oh my gosh. This is a clean button up, man. Oh, so soft. 
It's wild how finding three items in a store makes you feel like I'm hitting at this point, but hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, and play by the rules of the game at the time you're in. Look at these, the Hard Rock Cafe HRCT. Now this thing is like $5. They are yaxing on it, True. and it does have some slight stains, but I think I can get these out, and I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit, because that back graphic, that's swagtastic. Sway. This is a cool little Super Bowl hat I found in the sale section. Only $5, and it does have 75% embroidery. Wow. Come on. At this point in my thrifting journey, nothing really should surprise me, but $15 for a brand new Mitchell and Ness 2002 throwback. Wait a minute. For $15. I wish I might. I wish I might. Then Bagdor with the Harley Davidson that's like 2023 dated for 13. What? Jesus. <laughs> so I'm pleasantly surprised, man. The thrift is stuffed with waterfowl and pheasantry, but um, I did manage to find some Tommy for your mommy swim trunks for a reasonable price. So let me not complain too much about the shorts when I got a pair. Four, not bad. Guys, look at this, man. Sorry I'm not recording outside. It's just extremely windy, and all you guys will hear is wow, 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 wow. But uh, yeah, got some decent things. A little snapback of Rudel and like four upper garment textiles. Upper body text, upper garment text. That don't even make sense. True. Upper body textiles. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, keep it rolling. All right, guys, let's go. We're in the next spot, which is the Family Thrift Outlet on Hillcroft. The plug, y'all know what it is. And um, in case y'all didn't know, I have a second YouTube channel called Paw Plant 2, where I garden, I go crazy, I got some acreage, I just be going ham. Anyways, this definitely fits that aesthetic. It is the pollinator garden just popping with butterflies. My son, he knows a, like probably 20 some odd words, and one of them is butterfly. So I'm definitely gonna rock this around him and let him just go. Butterfly <laughs> all day. Dude, look at this collegiate piece. The Minnesota Golden Gophers. This is made in USA by the game. It's so stiff, such high quality. I swear to God, this feels like a cardboard mansion. There goes another stiff one. Oh, this thing looks like it was drizzled in reproductive fluids. What? Reverse weave, Ohio. I gotta think about it. This is an absolute heater as part of the degenerate life. You have the giant wait, no, wait, spell out Budweiser, wait, no, wait, King wait, wait. of Beers, Genuine, Finish Crew Deck. Wow, tasteful. You gotta love the Y2K gear. Check out the skulls on this 04 Myrtle Beach Biker Rally long sleeve. Ew, <laughs> with the spider made of pipe. Pause. This is starting to look like a personal collection trip to the thrift. The Nike USA Quota Zip little sweater white tag as well i'm gonna have to pass this on just because it is never cold enough to consistently rock crew necks in texas but god that's gorgeous then you got the harley davidson as well this is 04 again with the fire sleeve hits yes sir great american freedom and performance amen brothers we're getting wild up in here so i'm gonna save a couple of these pieces for the degenerate live i'm gonna run on whatnot as i mentioned the king of beers bud crew neck and then the nothing like hunting in the woods when you're gone off the brewskis baby yes don't dick cheney the homie though okay no capping anyone in the thigh quadrant bro if i could go back in time and work a nine to five this would be my casual Friday piece of choice. Easily. Easily. I found this tee probably like 10 times in my career because there's so much St. Louis gear in Houston. Make it make sense. I gotta get it though. Obviously enticed by the multitude of spherical objects on this shirt. Dude, the sickness. ZZ Top Recycler Club Z 1991 Tour Tee. This is so crispy, this single stick. Jackpot. So we got one Louisiana piece right here, but check out this Louisiana dynamic piece of majesty. The Super Bowl 31. You got beads decorating the alphabets. Draped up and dripped out 1996. Made in Honduras, but it is still single stitch though. Sometimes I come across garments like this and I just have to wonder who is this for? Who made it and why? 
okay? Is this for a freaky police officer? Somebody let me know, man. <laughs> Are we getting this, though? It's on the New School Gildan Ultra Cotton, too. Highly desirable. This jacket right here has my name written all over it. And yes, my middle name is Brighton. Tripping. What a crispy piece, man. What would y'all call this colorway? Like a pistachio kind of jade hybrid. And then as always, genuine antique person. Been there, done that, can't remember. Frequently stripped, polished, and buffed. Got a little sexual on the back hit. I like that though. You like that? You like that? Let's be real guys. In life, we all have that one person who this shirt could definitely be applied to. <laughs> so we got the Y2K daddy wear to end things out in here. The tap out MPSTs. Nothing to lose, but everything to gain. All oh, the samurai swords, it's kind of neat. It's kind of uh, integral as part of the design of that era in ilk. All right, let's go. Touch down, down. like Lisa Liz, Liz. Double cross the competition. We have transitioned Ambidex. into the last spot of the day. That's the only transitioning I'm doing as of this moment so far. Look at this. Boston Red Sox starter piece, pinstriped, complete with the former owner's sweat on the back of the neck. Perfect. This is sexy. Bro, this is one of the hardest vintage anime tees I've came across. 2001. You got the Samurai Kenshin tee. Big X, look at this. Oh my lord. A simple to Mexico of US parts. This t shirt is like a modern day Toyota truck. Multicultural collaboration. This thing is sweet. I don't feel like counting, so money counting. I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times. I found this cool redneck tee. Y'all, check out these two back to back. The Washington Redskin Potatoes on one of my favorite spice slash brands tags, the Nutmeg Mills, and check the second one. The Charge! Washington football team. And again, you know, I'm not one of our nation's first peoples. So what can I say, huh? What can I say? But uh, yeah, that's very, very crispy. Definite pickup. You also check this one out. We got a flight jacket. I stay finding my Militaria up in the thrift store reversible in case you do crash you know you can show off the orange side so your fellow pilots can scoop you up more easily easily but uh yeah man this is military issued got all the tagging and dating on the pocket and uh or not dating but all the tagging it is dated by the ideal zipper so this is like a 70s to 80s piece and it's crispy than a frisbee i've been searching for a piece like this my whole life now is this just vintage halloween merch potentially but it's the full skeletal system on the fruits. Fruits. Tag. Damn. No spinal column. Tripping. Hey, this is hard as hell though. Hard as hell. Check out these two. I've got more spirit in my little finger than most people have in their whole body. What's that finger doing though? And then check this out. Be quick or be hit. Wait, no wait, boy. Are you okay? Nike tennis. This one's sick. Last and not least, we got the legend Jerome the Bush. Bettish. No reason this guy was a damn running back and not a defensive end, not a defensive tackle, matter of fact, not a center, but hey, he did his doggone thing. Shout out Jerome Bettish, man. Reminds me of my childhood. It's a cool piece. Down and goal. They go to Bettis again. Bettis gets hit, still driving. Okay, gang, we are back once again in the studio. Hopefully y'all did enjoy the vid. I did find this t-shirt listed for $120 and $150. Unfortunately, I could not find some sold comps on this bad boy, all right? And I don't really watch anime like that. So um, yeah, if you guys want this, I am gonna sling it on whatnot it is going to be in probably two or three shows because we have a snapback live that is coming up where there's just a ton of snapback heat and then today after this video drops i am going live once again at 7 30 uh, central standard time on whatnot and i have a whole lot of banging gear in all styles and all sizes as I always say, and I start every item at a dollar so you guys determine the prices. And I love the chat, man. Like the chat, you guys are definitely uh get it going on just, just a tad bit, okay? We also got some kids' clothes, some Nike, and then check out the final piece, which is gonna be the Harry Potter all over print t-shirt that I am going to sell. 
Now there's all types of bangers that are interwoven and mixed in. I mean, there's just such a variety of things. We got a bunch of Y2K pants. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram, that is Thrift Heaven Vintage. That is where you guys need to be to be updated on when the website is updated and to be updated on the gear that's going to be included on the whatnot live streams, okay? So once again, tap that link in the video description, sign up, create a new account, get $15 off your first purchase from me or anybody on there. Definitely utilize that, guys. It will save you a good amount of money on some cool vintage gear, okay? With that being said, I will catch y'all next time, man. Smash the like button if you guys haven't already. And remember, live the dream, eat that ice cream. Peace. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.